Am I crazy? Am I ahead of my time? Or am I a wishful thinker? I used an iPad Pro as my main computer for two months, doing everything from emailing, spreadsheeting, video editing, photo editing, job applications, everything. And here's my experience. Hey, it's Alex, and I've always been a little perplexed by the iPad. It's not a computer, and it's not a phone, but it's so fun to use. So what are the good uses for it? Let's face it, who doesn't love swiping around on that giant screen, especially with the newer Pro models at 120 gigahertz? It just swipes so smoothly, and it's such a fun experience and a fun device to interact with. And then all of a sudden, we get the Apple Pencil a few years back. Now, digital media is easier than ever to create. You literally draw, like you would on paper, to create content. That's awesome. But for some reason, I could never get more usability out of it other than watching Netflix, playing Candy Crush, and just browsing my email on a giant screen. That is until iPad OS came out. Up until this point, iPads had always just been a blown up version of an iPod. Nothing super special, maybe more for kids, but as far as usability goes, kind of limited. But since the advent of iPad OS, we've now taken a step above and beyond iOS, reaching ever closer to a computer replacement. With the inclusion of desktop class browsing and now cursor support integrated into the operating system, this was looking like a viable replacement for my laptop. And let's face it, it's more fun and easier to use than a laptop most of the time. And then the Magic Keyboard came out with the integrated trackpad and everything just Apple OEM. I had to give it a try, so I picked up the Magic Keyboard with an Apple Pencil and an iPad Pro and I ditched my laptop for two months, and this is what I found. Starting off with the positives, it was way quicker and easier than my laptop. I could just pick it up and go, it's on right away, I'm in the content that I wanna be into within about three seconds of picking it up, and you just can't beat that on a laptop. Photos were way quicker and easier to edit. I have Lightroom available on the iPad, and especially with the Apple Pencil, just so much more fun and interactive to edit a photo when you can touch it instead of just scrolling around with a cursor. It's just a whole different experience on the iPad. Video was actually surprisingly quick and easy to edit. I use an app called LumaFusion that is not exactly Premiere Pro quality, but for being an iPad app, it's honestly really good and usable. I even edited a few videos on my channel on it, and as far as render time, it just blew my computer out of the water. It, it was amazing. Gaming is actually really good. When you hook up a PS4 or an Xbox controller, you can get some really decent apps and a good gaming experience, sometimes better than some consoles in my opinion. And those magic keyboard keys just made me want to invent new reasons to type all the time. I just, I wanted to input text into everything I could and it was just awesome. The cursor was pretty nice. It helped gain some control and some support over, you know, text selection. Not quite computer quality, but as far as the gestures go, it was natural and just felt kind of like a Mac. This is more like a computer than anything else I've used in the past. That includes a Surface. True, Surface runs full Microsoft. Windows 10, but it just doesn't compete because the Surface is trying to be a laptop, an iPad is just trying to be a better iPad. And it's already really good at being an iPad. So sorry, Microsoft, but the iPad is better at being a computer than the Surface is. But that's exactly why I gave it up. So let's talk about some of the bad things I had and ultimately why I decided not to stick with this setup. The iPad is too close to a computer, but isn't. If you're trying to use it as your main device, then you're starting to expect it to do things a computer can do, but it just falls short. For example, that file management system, when editing any kind of videos or doing photo edits, keeping track of files is honestly not as great as it should be yet on the iPad. The files app is a little slow and laggy, and it's just a little hard to navigate with the touch gesture system versus on the computer to have windows that I can pull up and drag and drop and move things around. It's just way more baked in and way more matured on a computer than it is on an iPad. So with that, staying organized with all your files, especially with video files, is just very, very difficult on the iPad. And I just had a subpar experience. And then in addition to that, some websites didn't work that great. Uh, even though it does have desktop class browsing within Safari, a lot of times you need the app version to even interact anyway. So I would have to download Google Sheets to, to edit a spreadsheet and it's just not that great on the iPad, at least at the time I used it, the cursor support wasn't really there. And things like Microsoft products like SharePoint and whatnot, file management, it just, as soon as you start doing anything like that, the iPad experience really kind of starts to fall apart. But that being said, if I wasn't somebody that had to do a ton of file management and spreadsheet work, but I guess even if I had to, I could still use Apple's numbers or pages or their suite. If I didn't have to do video editing, photo editing, 
anything in a professional sense if I just use this for occasional emailing and web browsing and all, that's all I needed a computer for, then 1000% this would be the setup for me. But because of the needs that I need out of it, it just doesn't work. And this is honestly a really big disappointment to me. I've loved iPads since they come out and they've always just been so exciting to me. I love the giant screen that you can touch and interact with. And the iPads have just been so good and reliable over the years and they've only gotten better and better. I've always dreamed of that perfect two-in-one combo and this is just so close, but it's not quite there yet. Maybe in a couple of years, we'll get some more developments and updates and it'll just push me over the edge and it'll hit home. But for now, it's just not quite there and it's a little bit of a disappointment. But that being said, the iPad still has a place for those who can use it. It's just not, for me, a main computer replacement. But this doesn't worry me too much. The main reason I switched to the iPad in the first place is because the processor is so much better than the Intel processor was on my MacBook. Editing videos was honestly quicker with the touch interface, and then when I hit export, it just blows through it like nothing. It just was a much better experience when doing certain things like that until the advent of the M1 MacBook, which I just picked up about a month ago and I've been using ever since. Since that came out, I kind of ditched my iPad and it's become all of the things that I wanted the iPad to be in the traditional, the mature, and the reliable form factor of a computer running Mac OS. And to me, at least right now, the MacBook beats out the iPad 100% with the advent of the M1 chip. They're now on the same level and it's just, that's really exciting to me. In fact, I did a video on the M1 MacBook using it for a month. You can check that out in the card up in the corner and learn about my experience on that. So can you get by with an iPad as your only device? For me, no, not right now. In the future, maybe, I hope to. I honestly hope to be able to, I love the iPad. But for anybody else that doesn't need a professional computer, that doesn't need the ability to edit video or manage files or do anything crazy, then absolutely this is a great buy for you, especially with that magic keyboard and the cursor. It's honestly more fun than a traditional laptop. It's much better than the two-in-ones like a Surface or anything that kind of flips around on itself. It's such a good buy, and if I didn't have to do anything professional, I would just use it as my main device. But that's my input, that's my experience. Let me know if you've had a different experience, if you tried the same thing, if you found specific uses for your iPad that just blow away the computer experience, then let me know. I'd love to have a conversation about it and just hear everybody else's thoughts. But anyway, that's gonna do it for this one. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.